to this for the only reason men exist is to take care of our women and children. It's unfortunate that 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 doesn't seem to be happening. And I'm very sorry about it, but I can tell you, I'm going to make this a top priority. I don't know what uh, had happened. I don't know, but I know you deserve to get your baby back, and we're going to do the best we can. We can. And I'm very sorry. I, I had no idea what was happening. I'm, I'm very sorry. He Thank just, you so much. So, no, thank you so much. You, 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 one thing's for sure, you, you damn sure not by yourself. So You are not alone. Um, you know, one thing I want I'm to very sorry. One thing I want to say, yell is some people will say, well, you know, she might have got caught up with some people online and she's not, she's not telling her mom the whole truth. And you know what? That may be. But let's just look back in history at some of the other cases. Young girl, mm -hmm. Gabby, for instance, that have made national headlines. Even Randall, with her fiance. She wasn't with some strange. She was, she, we knew who she went away with, but yeah, but it captured her. I mean, it don't Gabby even Petito matter. Was it's my man who was that, that girl, Gabby Petito, was with the man who would later on kill her. It didn't mean her parents wasn't looking for her. So I think we really have to, I, I just, I, I see it happen over and over again. I think it's unfortunate because they're nameless and fadeless until they become important to us. And I think that that's one thing from a communal standpoint we can definitely do. And I'm, and I, and again, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm very sorry that this is happening. And my social media guy is going to be in and we're going to do what we can from the radio. We're going to do something for you, darling. We'll make sure you get it. Thank you so much. We love you and we're praying for you, sister. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You yes. All right. All right. God bless you now. Thank Take care. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so so to, to Kwana, I just want to tell viewers one more time uh, about your daughter. Um, describe her for us. If anybody's in the area and if you're not sure that she's even still in D.C., you can go on D.L. Hughley's page. You can go on my page and see the picture of of um, Ty J. Bar um, Baker, so that you can see what she looks like. She's a five foot um, six, 130 pounds, um, college student, um, beautiful girl, beautiful artist, missing for six weeks now. Can you describe her? How would someone know that it's her if they saw her? She's tall, she's slim, like she stands out. Not only does she have a black hoodie on, she might have a jacket over that. It's hot down here. So she, obviously she will stand out because she's overclothed. Okay. She needs help. She needs assistance. And she might, right now, she might not, she probably don't even know her mother's looking for her. She, nobody knows what state of mind she's in. But I know she needs help. She needs to get back home. I need to find out what, what went on with my daughter. I know something went on, and I know she got away and when she reached out to make that call. And she been on the go ever since. So from the time she disappeared on May 1st until now, she you only heard from her one time. That was one phone call, and it was cryptic yes. and very quick. Yes. And what did she say? She said, tell my mom to come get me now. Please come get me. Save me. Wow. Well, listen, um, Taquani, you know, I told you I'm going to stay on this as much as I can. Um, we're we're going to keep getting the word out. Uh, I interviewed you earlier. That's going to come out on the I Woman Report tomorrow. Tamika D. Mallory and my son, the general, uh, we put you on their show um, yesterday as well. So that's going to come out this week as well. So we're going to keep giving as much coverage as we possibly can. Here's the missing picture, missing person picture that is um, being put up right now by, by your sister. Um, again, Ty J. Barker, Baker, Ty J. Baker, if anyone has seen her, please help her mother out. Um, best, best case scenario, we find her. Thank you so much. Um, and we plan to do a canvas help. party. Um, we, we plan to do a canvas this week. Uh, we would like all hands on deck to see the comments. People are saying they're in the area. They want to help. Um, we're going to be canvassing the area, uh, putting out any more flyers. Definitely, she is still wearing, when she was spotted today at 3.30, she is still wearing the black hoodie. She may just have something over it. Um, and, and most definitely, if you come in contact with her, please, please rest assure her that you're going to call her mom. Just say Taquana um, to her um, and, and, and definitely let her know that she is safe. Um, 
we definitely appreciate you sharing the story to kind of get it on the forefront um, of course. as well, um, because no one has been paying this story any, when I say any, any attention. The police detectives from PG County are just going to speak to her tonight. Um, and this has been taking place. She was spotted here July 1st. She was spotted here Saturday and today as well within the same perimeter. So definitely um, we will post information as it pertains to the canvas um, invite people to kind of get on board, um, as well as my sister Erin, the story with the media. Thank you. Very good. And I want to remind people, if you see anything, there's a phone number that we put up a minute ago on iWoman TV. It's 1-800-577-TIPS. 1-800-577-TIPS. God bless you. Please, sorry that you're dealing. We will. We will.